Hello and welcome back to Tips with Christy Felice. I am Christy and I have entrepreneurs and work at home parents and I try to help them propel their online business. I'm super excited that you're here and if you are planning to create a course in this year, then you need to listen to this video. Okay guys, so everyone out there is creating courses right now. Every time I scroll down my Facebook feed, I see a new sponsored post about a course. And it's really exciting. It's a great time. It's a great way to make some income passively. And I want to share with you guys some things that you should be adding into your courses in order to make them high value and high impact. So let's get started. There are seven things that I'm going to tell you guys about today that I think will make your course much more high impact and high value. And that way you can charge a higher price for this course. I have taken courses where I have felt like I've been thrown into the fire and have no way to figure out how to actually put the coursework into action. And that is what you don't want. Not only does that create a disconnect between you and your student, but you're kind of setting them up for failure and you're not able to continue to use that student as a way to make income. Um, a lot of people take people through a funnel when once they get to the end of that funnel, that's it. And that's usually where they have bought a high ticket thing such as a course or some kind of paid product. But what you want to do is set yourself up to continue to to uh, take that student through a circle and not so much as a funnel that ends. So in order to do that, here are seven things that you can incorporate into your next course in order to make it high value, high impact, and to continue to build a relationship with that student. The first thing is live coaching calls. This is a great way to create a relationship with your student as well as um, giving them a way to get feedback from you throughout the course and you're able to set them up for success basically and they're able to ask questions and you're able to give them critiques on what they might have already done throughout the course. I have a course right now on podcasting and I have a course on creating a course. When you're doing courses that you have to do a lot of hands-on work, it can get a little tricky and you don't want to lose your student. A lot of students start courses that they never finish. I have a couple of those that I've invested in and weren't able to go through all of the work because I wasn't motivated any longer after taking the first few modules and you don't want to prevent that. So having live coaching calls allows you to have that rapport and also have that conversation and help them get them feedback and get them through the course. The next thing is an onboarding email sequence. I really love this idea. It's a great way to set your student up to succeed for the course. You can give them ways and tips to utilize the, the course platform. You can give them access to different resources right away so they're not having to ask questions throughout the course. You can give them everything that they need right up front over the course of a few days to set them up to succeed in the course. The third thing is a quiz to kind of like get a gauge of where they are so they can understand what the course is more about as well as giving them an opportunity to learn more like terms and certain things that they might not have not, might not have known about the content of the course. I've told you guys I have a course about podcasting, so there's a lot of terminology that students need to learn, and a quiz would be a great way to give them that information. Number four is an online community where students can ask questions. Now, a lot of courses do these days have Facebook groups. I think that's a great thing to have. That way they're able to not only have accountability from you as the, the course leader, but also from their peers so they can chat with each other, ask each other questions and help gauge that um, it, and help increase the in interest in the course, but also they're able to get access to whatever questions that they might have and answers to those questions right away. Number five, actual homework assignments. This is a really great idea as well. Giving them actual homework lets you know that they're actually doing the work of the course. 
And that also helps them to actually think deeper about the coursework. Depending on what it is that you are teaching, I think this is a really great idea to have and incorporate into a high value course. Number six, create discussions. You can do this within your Facebook community or within your online platform that you're utilizing for your course, but creating discussions where students can talk to each other. This is another great thing to have. You can bring up a topic. You can do a live video or something like that within your community and allow people to have discussions on the coursework, which creates, again, that interest. It keeps people invested in the course. And finally, weekly office hours. Now, this would be something that would be incorporated into a definitely high value course, something that you're charging a pretty nice penny for because you're giving away a lot of your time to a lot of students. So if this is something that you're interested in, I think this is a really great idea as well to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with your students. Again, so you wanna be able to take those those students through the circle and not through a funnel that ends, right? So definitely creating more content that drives that value and drives that process. So if you wanna learn more about my circle that I use, I'll definitely create a video. Let me know in the comments below. Um, but until next time, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to another video here at Tips with Chris Elise, and I will see you next Monday.